Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here, and today I'm back with another The Science Files. This, I mean, the Space Science Files. Today I am doing Planet Mars, facts and information about Planet Mars. So let's get started into the science video. In English, the planet is named for the Roman god of war, an association made because of its red color and hue, which suggests blood. Mars can be easily seen from the Earth with the naked eye and it, its reddish coloring. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. In English, Mars... In English, Mars carries the same name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the red planet because of its red coloring. The latter refers to the effect of the iron oxide pre pre prevalent on the planet Mars surface, which gives it a reddish hue appearance distinctive among the astronomical bodies visible to the naked eye. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere with surface features of impact craters. It's a rocky planet, not a gas planet. The days and seasons are compar comparable to those of Earth because the rotational period as well as the tilt of the rotational axis is relative to the epileptic plane are similar to Earth. Mars is the site of Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and highest known mountain on any planet in the solar system. Mars also has one of the largest canyons in the solar system as well. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, which are small and irregularly shaped. Mars has been explored by several uncrewed spacecraft. Manor 4 was the first spacecraft to visit Mars, launched by NASA on the November 28, 1964. It made its closest approach to the planet on July 15, 1965. There are investiga investigations assessing whether the planet had passed habitability of Mars as well as the possibility of life that used to be there or that could be in there in the future. Liquid water on the surface of Mars cannot exist due to the low atmospheric pressure which is less than 1% of the asphistic pressure of Earth except for at its lowest elevations for short periods of time. The two polar ice caps appear to be made largely of water. The volume of water ice in the southern polar ice cap, if melted, would be, sin would be significant to cover the planetary surface to a depth of 11 meters, 36 feet. In November 2016, NASA reported finding a large amount of underground ice within Mars in the Utopia planetial region. The volume of water detected has been estimated to be equivalent of the volume of water in Lake Superior on Earth. Agent Mars had enough water for a giant ocean. New data suggests 20% of the red, red uh, planet's surface was covered by oceans at one point in time. 4.5 billion years ago, some 20% of Mars was covered and blanketed in a water ocean. That's according to a new study of water molecules that were found on the red planet's atmosphere. Further evidence that liquid water once existed on the surface of Mars comes from the detection of specific minerals, such as hematite, geothite, both of which sometimes form in the presence of water. In 2004, Opportunity detected the minerals gerocyte. This forms only in the presence of acidic water, which demonstrates that water once existed on Mars. In 2005, radar data Revealed the presence of large quantities of water, ice at the poles. Mars has two permanent polar ice caps during a pole's winter. It lies in a continuous darkness, chilling the surface and causing the depression of 25 through 30 percent of the atmosphere into slabs of CO2 ice, dry ice. Mars is approximately half the diameter of Earth within the surface area, only slightly less than the total area of Earth's dry land. Mars is a less dense planet than Earth, having about 15% of Earth's volume and 11% of Earth's mass, resulting in about 38% of Earth's surface gravity. The red-orange appearance of the surface is caused by iron, oxide, or rust. Scientists initially determined that its core is at least partially liquid in some states. Besides silicone and oxygen, the most abundant elements 
on the Mars planet crust are iron, magnesium, aluminum, calcium, and potassium. The average thickness of the planet's crust is about 50 kilometers. Mars is a terrestrial planet whose surface consists of minerals containing silicon, oxygen, metals, and other elements that typically make up rocky planets. The Mars surface is primarily composed of theothactic basalt, although parts of the silica rich, more than typical basalt, may be similar to adesitic rocks on Earth. Soil to be slightly akin and containing elements such as magnesium, sodium, potassium, and chloride. Chlorine, sorry, not chloride, chlorine. These nutrients are found in soils on Earth and they are necessary for growth of plants in Earth area. The soil is also highly toxic on Mars. A theory proposed in 1980 said that 4 billion years ago, the northern hemisphere of Mars was struck by an object one tenth to two thirds of the size of Earth's moon. If validated, this would make the northern hemisphere of Mars the site of an impact crater. 6,600 by 5,300 miles in size, or roughly the same area, land area of Europe, Asia, and Australia combined, surpassing the southern pole Acton basin of the largest, largest impact crater in the solar system. Mars is located closer to the asteroid belt, so it has an increased chance of being struck by minerals from that source. Mars is more likely to be struck by short period comets, i.e. those that lie in within the orbit of Jupiter. In spite of this, in spite of all of this, there are few craters on Mars compared with the Moon because the atmosphere of Mars provides protection against small meteorites and surface modifying processes have erased some craters. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system, reaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour. These can vary from a very storm over a small area to gigantic storms that cover the entire planet. They tend to occur when Mars is closest to the sun and have been shown to increase the global temperature. Mars' average distance from the sun is roughly 143 million miles. The axial tilt of Mars is 25.19 relative to its orbital plane, which is similar to the axial tilt of Earth. As a result, Mars has seasons like Earth, though on Mars they are nearly twice as long because the orbital period is much longer compared to Earth. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys, next video.